Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Bit Reviews. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to go back in time until when the generation of making video game adaptations for movies. <laughs> uh, today, we're going to be talking about the Finding Nemo game, specifically the Game Boy Advance version. Um, so this could be a lot shorter than normal because it is a very short game. Uh, and I also had a playthrough of this game, so make sure you check that as well. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so the gameplay of this game, um, it's a swimming platformer. I, I have no idea what to call it, to be honest. But it is a puzzle game uh, that you have to go through multiple levels of, and the levels kind of vary. Um, they're like this level where you have to swim forward, and it's really hard to see, but like, you swim forward and you have to catch a person in front of you. I do that like twice, thankfully only twice, because it's kind of, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's confusing to play. Um, but each level has their own different puzzles. Um, some are kind of the same, like you just have to pick a pearl into a clam and just kind of advance to these levels. But these levels can be kind of long and there's not really many checkpoints in the game. Um, and if you do die, you restart everything. So you go all the way back to the beginning or into, well, there is some checkpoints I think, but it's just like we move to the next place in the level. So it's not like a checkpoint, checkpoint. Um, but some of these like places are really long. Uh, and there's definitely no map either to kind of show you where you are, or at least one that helps you navigate through them. Uh, this kind of is really bad with one area when you're a jellyfish. <laughs> I mean, no, you're not a jellyfish, but you're going through the jellyfish, like in the movies. And the entire map looks the same because they're all just jellyfish, and you're trying to navigate through all these jellyfish, and you have to find Dory, and you have to escape, but you just like you don't know where you are because it's just like and then you go back to one place oh, it looks exactly like where I once was and I feel like a map would have definitely been very helpful in that situation because it's so easy to get lost and like the way to get to Dory is like this very non-obvious hole that you have to go through and it, it's, it's hard to see if you don't like search around for a while like you get trapped for a little bit before finding it uh, many of the levels kind of have level design like this that's the problem like all the assets are the same so like it it's so many areas look familiar and it's kind of hard to navigate through it which is why i think a map would definitely benefit this game a lot um and escaping through tubes for one level um you're playing as nemo and you have to like they don't really go direction so you have to get the rock into the fan like in the movie um only issue is that one part of the level requires you to sprint past jets you have to carry this rock through the entire level you can't sprint with a rock in your hand but you have to still get past it so you have to like drop the rock sprint pick up the rock again somehow drop the rock sprint pick it up again somehow get it over there and it's like a lengthy lengthy thing so it's it's really hard to do and it takes a few tries and it's definitely not something you expect like a kid to do which is definitely where these games are based off to kids like kids would definitely get stuck easily in this game um, so that's an issue too. And there are this Finding Nemo, uh, you're in Nemo, so you're going into the tank as well. So you have levels with the tank and the t fish in the tank, and there's like mini games that you have to do. And some of these mini games are quite challenging. Um, it's something you have to do for a certain level. You have to play all of them at least a few times. And they can be quite challenging. And I think like this game is supposed to be friendly towards children, but in some ways it's really not. Um, but other than that, the gameplay, it, it was pretty hard to play, to be honest. The movement was fine and everything, but just like basically figuring out these puzzles and like things are just not very obvious and there's not much direction in the game, it definitely helped. It makes it hard to play. And it's, it's very varying, like some parts are extremely easy, but then you just get to like wall. Like you, you it, it's very degrading sometimes. Uh, but that's about the gameplay. All right, the graphics. There's not really much to say about the graphics. It's a Game Boy Advance game that was quick and easy made. So there's tons of the same assets. Uh, nothing really looks amazing. It's all pixelated. It's all pixelated. It's low res. I still think it looks kind of decent for a Game Boy Advance game, though. That's definitely made in a rush. Um, so I, I definitely give it benefits, like some of the graphics, too. They do use, like, PNGs, too, from the actual movie or, you know, pictures, I meant, like, from the actual movie. So you do get screenshots but they're also like pixelated and blurry um but i find that pretty funny i don't actually know if the text is accurate i haven't watched the movie in a while but yeah 
Uh, next up is the story. It's Finding Nemo. You don't know the story. Nemo gets lost. Uh, Marvin has to go find him. Voila. That's the story. It's the same story as Finding Nemo. You know the story to Finding Nemo. You know this. Yeah, well, maybe I should explain it anyways. Nemo gets lost. Marvin goes on a story with Dory. Marvin finds Nemo after Nemo escapes and they live happily ever after. That's the story. Wow, I know, it's a great story. It's actually a really good story. If you watch Finding Nemo, it's way better than that than this. Don't play this game before watching the movie. You look bad. All right, so the conclusion. So this game was obviously a cash grab for the movies. Uh, it's not really high quality. It looks like it was rushed. I know there are different versions, like for the GameCube, it looks a lot different than the GBA because I think they use 3D graphics for uh, GameCube. But yeah, it's definitely just like quickly thrown together game that they probably used an engine to use all of these GBA games <laughs> at the time um, of these movie games. Um, so it's really not the best one out there. Um, I do have a lot of nostalgia for though because I used to play it a lot as a kid. Um, but playing it as an adult again, um, it's not really amazing. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so the score I'm going to give it is 3 out of 8. It's not a good game. <laughs> It's definitely nostalgia driven for me, but you know, maybe maybe can get some good time out of it, you know. It's definitely worth playing just to see what it is like. Um so yeah, that's the review. Hope you enjoyed. Uh catch you in the next one. Peace.